Space stretches endlessly, shrouded in darkness and silence. For countless generations, humanity has stared up at the stars, questioning if we're truly alone out here. Back in 1977, Voyager 2 set sail into the unknown, carrying our dreams and a golden record into the depths of space. Its last message, cloaked in static and mystery, suggested there was more to discover. At last, it seemed the cosmos had answered. It began in the summer of 1977, with a rare planetary alignment that happens only once every 176 years. NASA seized the moment, launching Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 to undertake a grand tour of the solar system. Their mission visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, worlds we barely knew. Voyager 2 launched first, on a longer, slower path. It was more than a machine. It was an extension of our senses, built to last far beyond its five-year mission. Each Voyager carried a golden record, a 12-inch, gold-plated disc with sounds and images from Earth, greetings in 55 languages, and a message of hope. Voyager 2's journey was a series of firsts, flying by Jupiter in 1979, revealing violent storms and active volcanoes on Io. Then Saturn, with its breathtaking rings and the hazy atmosphere of Titan. Every stop rewrote our textbooks, transforming distant points of light into vibrant, dynamic worlds. Voyager 2 turned blurry smudges into places with stories. The mission was a stunning success from the start. It kept going, far beyond anyone's wildest dreams. The golden record was our introduction to the cosmos, a hopeful gesture, a hello from a small blue world. Voyager 2's discoveries changed our understanding of the solar system forever. It was the little probe that could, delivering one amazing discovery after another. Its journey was a testament to human ambition and curiosity. It showed us that the universe is more complex and beautiful than we ever imagined. Voyager 2's mission was not just about science. It was about reaching out, about hope. It was about making contact, even if only with the unknown. And it was about leaving a mark, a sign that we were here. Voyager 2 became our silent ambassador to the stars. After Saturn, Voyager 2's journey grew lonelier as it headed for Uranus and Neptune, worlds shrouded in mystery. In 1986, it reached Uranus, a pale blue orb hiding 11 new moons, two new rings, and a bizarre tilted magnetic field. It was our first and only close-up look at this strange world. Three years later, Voyager 2 arrived at Neptune, the final planetary stop. Neptune dazzled deep blue with the fastest winds in the solar system and the great dark spot, a massive storm. Voyager 2 found faint rings, six new moons, and Triton, a frozen world with geysers of nitrogen ice. With Neptune behind, Voyager 2's mission changed. It was now headed for interstellar space. It crossed the termination shock, then the heliosheath, the turbulent edge of our solar system. Voyager 2 became a lonely sentinel, reporting from the frontier where our sun's influence ends. On November 5, 2018, it crossed the heliopause, entering interstellar space, over 11 billion miles from home. Light from the sun took over 16 hours to reach it, its radio signal took just as long to return. Voyager 2 became a true interstellar messenger, its voice a faint whisper against the cosmic background. It told us what it was like out there, beyond our home. It was our only witness to the place where our solar system ends and the galaxy begins. Its journey was a triumph of endurance and engineering. Voyager 2 kept sending data year after year, decade after decade. It was a lonely traveler, but it was never forgotten. Its discoveries at the edge of the solar system were as important as those among the planets. Voyager 2's diary is a record of the unknown. It reminds us that even in the emptiest places, there are stories to be told, and sometimes the loneliest traveler brings back the most profound message. The years passed and Voyager 2's power faded. NASA engineers made tough choices, shutting down instruments to conserve energy. The spacecraft grew cold, but its main transmitter, the voice to Earth, remained alive. We listened, knowing the signal would one day cease. That day came on July 3, 2025. At the Deep Space Network, Voyager 2's signal suddenly changed after 48 years of steady communication. The familiar stream of data stopped, 
replaced by a short, concentrated burst unlike anything seen before. Engineers scrambled to diagnose the problem, sending commands that took over 33 hours for a round trip. But there was no reply, only silence. The burst was Voyager 2's final transmission, a last, unexpected whisper before the line went dead. The loss was more than technical. It felt like losing a friend, a companion of nearly two generations. Voyager 2 had shown us our solar system, ventured into the galaxy on our behalf, and become a cornerstone of space exploration. Now, it was gone. The team mourned, but as they analyzed the strange final signal, grief mixed with awe and mystery. What was Voyager 2 trying to tell us in its last moments? The silence was profound, but the puzzle it left behind was even deeper. The final whisper across the stars was not just an ending, it was an invitation to wonder. It challenged us to listen closer to the universe. Voyager 2's last message became a new beginning for curiosity. The story was not over, it had only changed. The cosmos had spoken, and we were left to interpret its meaning. The final message lasted only seconds. At first, it looked like random noise, a jumble of ones and zeros. But this was different. Hidden in the static was a complex repeating pattern, a structured signal, not random at all. It was information, but in a language no one recognized. The team tried every decryption method, but nothing fit. The pattern was too orderly for an accident, too complex for a simple malfunction. It was as if Voyager 2's software had been rewritten in its final moments. But by what? Or whom? The signal seemed to contain layers of information, elegant and completely alien. Most alarming, the data didn't come from Voyager's own instruments. It was as if the probe was relaying an external signal, something it was never designed to do. The debate inside NASA was intense. Officially, it was called a system malfunction. But privately, some wondered, had Voyager 2 finally encountered something? Was this the universe's reply? Voyager 2's final message, though downplayed, sparked wild speculation. Are we alone? For centuries, this was philosophy. Now we had a strange artifact from interstellar space. It wasn't proof, but it was a tantalizing clue. The universe is vast, hundreds of billions of galaxies, each with billions of stars and countless planets. Statistically, life should exist elsewhere. Could an advanced civilization manipulate a passing probe? Could they send a message through it? The message's cryptic nature fueled debate. Why not a simple hello? Maybe we can't yet comprehend their way of communicating. Perhaps it's a key a warning, or something else entirely. The ambiguity forces us to confront our limits and imagine new possibilities. Voyager 2's final message opened Pandora's box, and we can never close it again. Voyager 2's journey holds up a mirror to ourselves. Remember the pale blue dot image? From billions of miles away, Earth is just a tiny speck, a mote of dust in a sunbeam. All of human history has happened on that dot. Voyager's journey gives us perspective and humility. We are not the center of the universe, but a small planet in a vast cosmos. This realization is both unsettling and empowering. It reminds us how precious our world is, our only home. Voyager 2's legacy is a story of human achievement, curiosity, and hope. It was our silent ambassador to the stars, carrying a message of peace. Its journey is a testament to what we can accomplish together. Even in silence, Voyager 2 continues to inspire. The final message may never be understood, but its true meaning lies in the questions it forces us to ask. Its inspiration will travel on forever. The end of Voyager 2 is not an ending, it's a beginning. Its mysteries fuel a new era of exploration. We'll build new telescopes, send new probes, and dream of interstellar travel. The search for life and understanding is just beginning. Missions to icy moons and distant stars are on the horizon. The quest to know the universe is a fundamental part of who we are. Every discovery deepens our desire to explore. We are all part of a chain of discovery, passing the torch to future generations. The cosmic ocean is waiting, and humanity is ready to set sail.